it doesn't really matter that we're a small country. We just have to have 14 good players in our team. We have gotten some, some great results, starting to play against greater and greater nations, which is just as a beginning of something great. It was a big victory for us. In our home, it's, uh, it's a lot about handball. It's very fun to play with uh, all your family members. Almost every time he, is, he sees the solutions by himself when he's playing. We know that we are good. We came to win. We are good, even if we are a small country. I mean, there's only about, I can't remember, 53,000 people. But we are strong by heart and will, and we love the game and fight every time we play. We are much better in, in offense than defense, and we don't have any players that are shooting from 12 or 13 meters, but we have very clever players. They are good at playing one against one and two against two. And um, we used to have countless hours in the evenings or mornings just shooting in the court. We are, we are not so big, so we play really smart handball. Most of the teams, they are maybe bigger, but we are maybe a bit smarter than them. I think our group or generation is our, we have an outstanding team. We have been very lucky with this group of guys. Uh, they, have, uh, they have been playing together since they were maybe five or six years old. It was big. We played against them uh, two times. The first time we lost and uh, yeah, it's always uh, fun to play against Denmark because we belong to them. We knew many of their players and it's a, we have been talking to them and about who was the better team for a long time and really funny to, to show that we were the better team. Very happy about it because it's the first time that in any sport that any team from the Faroe Island has beaten a Danish team. So yeah, it was a big victory for us. At the start of the second half, we, we get behind with four or five goals against Denmark and took a timeout and could change some, some things with seven against six in the offense to take the tempo out of the game. And I think that was an important thing because we have to try to play the, the game at our tempo because we cannot run with a team uh, in 30 minutes that can change uh, players all the time. We, we cannot do that. That's, uh, we, of course, we were very happy. It's very big. I think maybe it's the biggest win in the history of Faroe Islands. Also a very good match. Yeah, it was a lot in the media and the Faroe Islands. It was the first time a Faroe team has won against Denmark and uh, that is something that means a lot for the Faroe. And yeah, so it was big that we won. It's quite special to have uh, two sets of brothers who are cousins to each other on the team. It's very fun to play with uh, all your family members. It's, it's, it's quite rare, I think. I love to play with my brother and cousins. It's, uh, it's very fun, so uh, I hope that we'll play in uh, in our club together sometime. We started everyone at the under 8 in age 71, our hometown club. All of my brothers and cousins, of course, we have played handball since we were little. And also my parents, they played also handball. And we live 300 meters from the hall. Janas and Ole and Paulus, my cousins, father also played handball. It was uh, an easy choice for our parents to, uh, to give us a ball in the hand when we were small. And uh, the big difference we had from other players maybe is because we have had the key to the hall our whole uh, childhood. Yeah, in our home it's, uh, it's a lot about handball.
it's tough to move abroad, but uh, I'm becoming better to live in other countries. We will live together now and uh, he will move into my apartment in uh, Parstille, so it will be very fun. He's uh, not just a family member, but he is also a good, um, good friend of mine. He is the youngest, so he has to do the cleaning, but uh, we'll see uh, if he will do that. <laughs> Uh, we are going to live together. He is maybe a little bit lazy, so that's going to maybe to be a problem. He is a bit bossy. I will play in Sevo uh, one year and uh, will try to be uh, to be become a little bit better and then uh, take a bigger step to a bigger club. I've always played handball and that's uh, the thing I want to do as a job. So uh, I have no idea what I would do if, uh, if I didn't play handball. He's very important because he is our playmaker in the attack. When I was young I always looked at uh, all the best players in the world and then I tried to, to train stuff that they could do. So if I saw Mikkel Hansen do a good shot then I trained it in the hall because uh, we had the keys. And then me and my brother and cousins, we went up to the hall and looked at YouTube clips and then we tried to do. Almost every time he, is, he sees the solutions by himself when he's playing. The leading type maybe in, uh, in a team, I, uh, I control a lot. I'm good in man against man and I have a good shot. He is yeah, 20 years old, he's, he's already shown what he's capable of at 20. And I can't imagine what he can do when he's 25. I want to be uh, the best in the world. That's always a goal uh, I've had, so uh, we'll see about that. Some of them are already on the national teams and several of the other players will be on the national team in a short time. And therefore I have to appreciate the opportunity I have uh, playing for Faroe Islands or yeah, playing at a, a big level, so I'm just trying to enjoy every moment. I think we have a very bright future and uh, maybe one day we'll qualify for the European Championship. It's yeah, a tough group. We have seen Ukraine and, uh, and Austria in, uh, in the Euros and in the World Cup before and they have one against uh, great nations, uh, so it's, it will be tough. But we have played against Ukraine before, uh, where we've been close matches. So I think on, on, on the right day we have a chance to beat teams like Austrian and Ukraine. It would be a huge leap uh, from yeah, Faroese sport, uh, but also in Faroese handball. We, we love this underdog role, where we have nothing to lose, everything to gain, which I think it's our advantage because there's no pressure on us, so we just have to play freely. We have nothing to lose, so just give everything we got. We are not just a one-man team, but there are also a lot of other good players. Because we have a very strong team. We have gotten some, some great results starting to play against greater and greater nations, which is hopefully just a, uh, just a beginning of something great. Mm -hmm.